Good morning, everyone. This is Bren with Addicted to Cricut. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the slice tool in Cricut Design Space. This has become my all-time favorite tool. At first, it was a little tricky to figure it out, but it is. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Let me just show you how to do something really easy. Let's grab a shape like a circle. Okay. And let's say that we want to cut out some text in here. Um, let's do home, sweet home. Did I spell that right? Let's um, get this aligned up center like that, and we'll squish it up a little bit so it's not so big. And we probably could even make it a pretty um, font if we wanted to, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's not worry about that. Okay, so let me make this a different color so I can see it. And I'm going to put it right on top of my circle, just like that. Okay, let's say that's where we want it. But I don't want this to be a separate piece of vinyl. I want it actually to be cut out of my circle. So over here you can look and see I have one, two pieces and that's it. And that's what I need in slice to cut. If I have more than one, it won't do it. It only can slice one, two pieces. So while it, this is highlighted with the blue line around it, hold your shift key down on your keyboard and click the other piece. Now all of it is highlighted, and you can tell that because both pieces are grayed in over here on the sidebar. And your slice key is highlighted so you can do it. So slice. Now the thing to remember is slice always slices, um, well I say three pieces, but there aren't three pieces. But that's it. So we're going to get de delete both of these. That's how you do it. Now it's one piece. It's going to cut out as one piece. You can take it and you can put another piece of paper or vinyl behind it, make some cute little sign, but that's all there is to it. Now let me show you over here what I'm working on. I'm working on a sign and I want it all to go run across my um, hearth. I'll show you, well no I won't, but it's too long. If you see here it's 26 inches long and um, I don't want to have to run it that far. So the way to do it is I can either, um, let's see, no, it's not going to let me do that. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use a square and I'm going to slice off pieces. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to slice off these pieces. Okay, so it's highlighted around that one. Hold my shift key, hold the rest of the pattern. Oh, wait a minute, it's not slicing. You know why? Look over here. All these pieces are separate. We want them to be together. So we're going to weld those together because we can't slice them otherwise. So let's put this back over here. Hold your shift key down and hit your other pattern and hit slice. Okay. So I only want this one. Get rid of that. Now I need to do this one more time because some of these other words are a little too long. Okay, so it's already highlighted. I am going to hit my shift key and hit the rest and slice. Okay, now the reason I did that is because now I can go to create or make it over here and it's all on one piece of vinyl. That's it. I don't have to have a long 24 inch piece of vinyl and then waste so much. So that's how come we did that. That's it you guys. So the secret is to make sure that you only have two pieces like we did over here. Well we only have one here now. Two pieces and then you can slice. You highlight it, you click on your um, shift key and then you click the other piece and it will cut it off. I use this to help me erase things out of a picture or an image that I don't want. I use this to 
um, put maybe a circle in a design so that I can do something else with it. I use it for so many things. And once you know how to do this, you are going to love it. So when you start with text, each piece is separate, okay? So you're going to have to take this piece and you're going to have to weld it together. Now it's one piece, okay? And so that's what I had to do with all these is weld them together and then I sliced them. That's it, you guys. That's how easy it is. Now, go on and go learn to slice yourself. You are going to love it. Have a happy crafting day.